Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Well, if you are a veteran player of Call of Dragons or just a beginner, you kind of understand that in terms of power and numbers, uh, 50 million power is quite a big achievement and finally... As a 100% free-to-play player, not even have Lilia in your arsenal. In my arsenal, I managed to fulfill and complete this big achievement because I have been trying my best to get this um, like kind of goal. Because if you are a veteran, you understand that in Alliance, somebody hits 50 million power. All Alliance is congratulating them because it's quite a good achievement, right? And if you want to know how I managed to get this 50 million power without having a zero problems in terms of resources or any kinds of uh, problems because my gameplay have been smooth these past 500 days while I'm playing this game, I will try my best to give you all the best tips and tricks which I have learned by myself, right? Uh, first of all, we are going to speak about the important feature of this game which is building and constructions and I will show guys that all of my buildings are not 25 level. Even the most important, I have much more buildings to upgrade to 25 than I have already done it, right? Of course, my town hall is finally 25. My um, army recruitment buildings are going to finish to get to 25 really soon. My archers are 25, mages are 25, infantry is 25, and cavalry is getting there in 10 days. And one last building which I will get to 25 is my special unit building, which is Wyverns, and yeah, as an archer player, I'm really, really happy that I'm finally finishing these important buildings, not only for army recruitment, but of course for the bonuses which these buildings are giving. Um, other than that, my 25 level building is Alliance Center, because I wanted to have as much help chances available, because that actually matters whenever you are on a late game of Call of Dragons, and Every single upgrade costs at least like 100 days. That's how it feels generally, right? My main motivation right now is to get my hospital buildings to 25 because that's really, really important. Unfortunately, every single hospital building right now for me is 24. And other than that, only buildings which I have 25 is couple of production buildings. So what's my main tip about the buildings? Don't try to rush um, the mana refineries to 25. Try to upgrade the most important ones, which is, of course, army buildings to try to get the maximum troop capacity, which is 1,600, right? That's really going to boost your power on a daily basis, and that's really, really important. Of course, plus you are getting important buffs for every single building. The second important building should be hospitals, but unfortunately you are going to need to have rally building on 25 in order to progress through the hospitals. And yeah, you can see my rally building is 22, and um, finally I'm starting to use my gems on treaties to rush the rally building to make to tier 5 as fast as possible. So that's like end storehouse with 25, right? I should not really miss that. Other than that, my buildings are 23, 24, mainly 24, and of course, like most of the production buildings are 23, 24. So that's like it. Well, even if I'm getting 50 million power, it doesn't really mean that every single building should, you should have is 25, right? And of course, this is in terms of buildings right now. Well, one of the most important features which allows us to get to tier 5 units is of course research. And in terms of research, I will showcase at what stage I am and how much power I can even get more. So you can get guys actually uh, think that it's not that really really hard to get to 50 million power. I kind of finished economy tree for a while right now because... In order for me to uh, move forward, I need to have my research building to 25, which needs rally building or watchtower to 25, which kind of needs time, right? So I, I'm kind of done in terms of uh, economy tree. I'm waiting for building constructions to catch up, so I will be able to finish it completely, right? Um, other than that, every single important economy research is, of course, done for a while. That's why I'm not really taking too much attention to economy tech for a while, right? Now, in terms of military, that's the, my main uh, point, main uh, um, main interest. That's why finally I'm, I'm I have done the epic like blue defensive formation and like in general 
PvP buffs because I think these PvP buffs are one of the most important in terms of getting merits and in terms of being productive. So having this on max level is really, really important and I was really happy when I did that. Uh, right now, my main job is that, of course, my main troop, fighting troops are on a level 9, so on a fighting buffs. Uh, I can't uh, upgrade it to max level because I need the research building to 25. That's why I'm kind of stuck in this aspect. But right now, I'm upgrading my first A2 and the first information to max level. And I actually can finish it up right now, both of them, because I have saved a lot of speed up in this game. And I can actually finish both of them. The reason why I'm not doing it because I'm in a home kingdom waiting for my next KVK, and also I'm waiting for some kind of event which I'm go where I'm going to get a lot of reward by getting power because I think I'm getting close to two million power by finishing these two upgrades, right? And whenever I'm gonna finish it, you can see guys like nine percent for one extra level is huge, and I think in the next KVK. I'm going to have a lot of fun fighting uh, against my enemies because uh, like finally 9% and I will finish like all of the most important PvP buffs which are here. Uh, that will be really epic and I will try my best to showcase as, as much as possible. In terms of assault strategies, yet again, it needs to finish economy tree in 100%. But it needs to have a like research building 25. That's why I, I can't actually increase uh, levels on this one. And of course, so whenever I'm going to finish the assault strategies 2 to 20, 25%, that also will be big, big a boost for my account. And of course, my first tier 5 troops is of course going to be my archers because I'm an archer player and I'm right now I'm trying my best to get there as fast as possible. Um, other than that, in terms of like getting power and what's the what's the actual um, advices I can give you guys and where you can actually put your attention towards the uh, your account is uh, troops and how much troops you are going to have, right? Because troops are the currency of fun and currency of fighting because more troops you are going to have more time you are going to have fighting against your enemies as you can see my main fighting troops are archers then mages and in general i'm playing wilderberg because i'm an archer player and i want to have extra archer troop type which is wyverns right i'm i'm really really close to having one million archer troops which have been my goal for a while i think for a three months and finally i'm going to achieve it which makes me really really happy meanwhile my mage troop count is going pretty well and of course finally i'm i'm, I'm spending some speed ups to get my wyverns on a better spot at least kind of close to mages right in total i have four million um legion four million troops and these four million troops are giving me 16 million power so whenever i saw this number by myself i was really really surprised because i wasn't really expecting that i would have 60 million power from my troops but i guess it's a win-win situation for every kind of player if you're a player who wants to increase power as much as soon as possible you want to have more troops if you are a fighter you want to have more troops so as a free-to-play player your daily power increase is determined by your troops because i think every 24 hours you are guaranteed the uh, troop um, recruitment so it's a free it's kind of free power for your account so that's why i think uh, you guys should always check your troop type if you don't like the troop amount try to use your speed ups because the troops count is the equivalent of having fun because even if you have like your hospital full in the game you can still use your troops if you have them right so like try to invest try to be cautious of course there are a lot of events where it's gonna give you a lot more rewards by recruiting your army so try to be cautious in terms of that like for example for me uh, fog of not fog of war brink of war is going right now and uh, that's why I kind of used to quite a lot of speed ups to increase my uh, troop type, right? And in general, I think I can check right now the ways how I got power in this game. Building power is 30 million, tech power is 16, and as you can see, legion power 16, the almost number one way of getting power. In terms of hero power, of course, as a free-to-play player, uh, that's not really easy to have high levels on your skills of your heroes, same as artifacts, which kind of decreases chance of having high power from hero section. But I guess 4.3 million power from hero 
um, is like normal as a free to play player. You are not really expecting a high amount of uh, power gain from heroes and artifacts in general. And of course, like talents uh, will give you a 500 power per, per one talent, but that can't be, be too much, right? So this is my power info, how I got to 50 million mark and how I got the most amount of power from every single aspect of the game. And quite surprising, Legion power is... Uh, great, right? 60 million. I have asked a lot of times in terms of resources. I have to say that I have never had a problem in terms of resources in this game. And plus, I need to add that I don't have farm account. I have never had a farm account. I'm only playing with this account, right? And plus, if you are going to check my resource gathered amount, you can see 3.8 billion resource gathered is not even a lot. And I have actually gave away a lot of uh, resources by myself and as you can see i have quite a resources stocked in my bag which means well as a free-to-play player every single research costs a lot of days i don't have enough speed ups to to finish all of them that's why i think uh, every single day when, whenever i log in i try to spend my sp i'm killing darklings which is giving me resources i'm killing a forts which is giving me resources that's why i guess i don't spend that much um, um, that's why from like season to season my resources are getting collected and that's why i have actually never had a single problem in my 500 days of playing the call of dragons in terms of resources plus i need to say that I have actually gave away quite a lot during KVKs, especially to tier 5 players, so it's not like I'm sitting on these resources doing nothing, right? Uh, that's why, like, um, in whenever people are making the farm accounts, I guess they are tier 5 players and they want to have more resource healing. And my one of the most important uh, uh, thing about resource healing is, like, if my alliance needs, if the fight is crucial, pair 1 KVK, um, I'm spending 3 to 4 million resource uh, uh, I'm like I'm resource healing straight to 4 million troops and that's kind of my maximum, right? That's how I'm not spending every single resource, every single KVK because I still need to progress. I need to still get to tier 5 player, um, to be tier 5 player and I still need to be effective, right? Uh, of course, I still have a lot of the stuff to do. Finally, I need to achieve my tier 5 first unit, but uh, for next KVK, I'm expecting big things because I'm finishing my research of the important buffs. Uh, finally, um, and this will be really effective. I have a lot of resources uh, to resource heal if there will be a need in that. Plus, uh, long range warfare is coming back. And as you guys understand, as an archer player, um, I'm really, really happy because I'm putting some uh, skills on Zyda 5222. I'm hoping I'm going to get my Magrot and I will be able to pair my Magrot with my Zyda. But that's still a hope. My next KVK is going to start in three days. And let's see um, how Wheel of Destiny will give me the Magrot, which I have been trying to get for a while, right? So, guys, this is the big achievement for, I guess, every single Call of Dragons player. 50 million power. I'm getting close to tier 5. My Watchtower is 24. And, uh, yeah, I'm spending gems right now to rush as much uh, treaties and as much arrows to get to the tier 5, right? Because that's the main goal right now. So that's it, I guess that's like one of the most important tips which I have, I can give you. Uh, power is just a number in general. Uh, if you have your, your most important researches and the hero skills and the building constructions done, you are good to go. You are going to have fun in carry case and you are going to enjoy fights against your enemies. I hope guys you understood more about Call of Dragons after watching this video. If you did, I press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more, 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 more motivation to make more videos about this game. And also, I need to mention that I have a Discord channel. If you will join the Discord, there is a small library where everything is put together where the like call of dragons content heroes like artifacts for for a beginner it's easy to navigate where to click and you will it will showcase every single videos we have done in this channel so if you are interested go there it will be on description and join our little community and yeah i wish every single one of you amazing day morning and night we are going to see each other really really soon bye bye and good luck